Right, welcome back. We're just gonna jump right into it today. Uh, had a had a pretty fun weekend so far. I uh, got to hang out, do some board games last night, and now back to back to it. We're all also at the end of the week, and uh, like I said, I'm gonna I I'm gonna do kind of a recap. Um, I don't have the information in front of me. I don't know whether I'll just either have it with the with the end of the week kind of um, video here because I want to do on Sunday which is reset for a lot of things like we get the reset here get some gems for what you make out of the um, Astromon League and then we get uh, an egg uh, for your capturing um, didn't do too much capturing this week anyway so uh, we only got the one we only get the one egg I'm gonna try and see if it's feasible for me during the week to try and increase how much I play to try and get some better rewards on Sunday when we have the reset, but we'll see. Um, just double check the Nez Pass here. Uh, what's left with Sarah? We're not... This goes all the way until February 11th? Oh, man. I mean, I guess it's already been out for, you know... Not a month, but, you know, three, three or three and a half weeks, something like that. So just a little bit left on her, but let's knock these out, shall we? But yeah, I'll do a, uh, I think I'll recap of, uh, well, and I might just do it on here. Um, cause I think it'll be a better format than just recording a separate video. We'll take a look at the end. So these videos on Sunday might be a little bit longer um, a little bit longer. I think that's a little bit, that's more feasible than making like a five minute, here's what I made video. Don't need to flood, flood this anymore than I already am doing these dailies. Uh, knock these out. But I have been trying to get back and do, um, farming and, uh, you know, uh, in my off time. Trying to get my Super Evolution Stones up. Because we talked about those in the last video. So, trying to get those, you know, build up enough for that. There's uh, still some that I'm... There are still uh, some Super Evolution Stones that I need to need to farm up. Uh, but I also, like, I, I don't want to... I don't want to focus specifically on one. I kind of want to spread them all out. And... Let's just jump in here and, and look at that. So, you know, I have enough to do a Fire Astromon, which I, I still don't know who I want to do. Uh, I still need to get 10 here. I don't even think, yeah. I've got enough saved up that I can definitely make 10 with these, but I have to farm up those. Um, and just some advice when it comes down to, like, when you go out and farm, just so it doesn't get overwhelming or something like that. And again, if you have the time, you have the time. What I do is I literally just go out, let's say, on water stones. It's usually these two I have the problem with because they're the 50. These are the ones that have to, that have to be ran on extreme. I believe everything else can be gathered on normal. You can see that's why I have a, a bunch of these is, you know. You also get these materials by running extreme as well, so... Um, for instance, I think this said seabed caverns. So this material will also drop for you getting the um, this material as well because you're going to run it on extreme. So you kind of get these two hand in hand. But what I do is I just farm the 50 to create a gem, and then I just do that every day. So once I've I've hit craft and I go down, I go farm the 50, the 50, so I'm ready for the next day. That's usually how I go about it. Um, let's get another one going here though. Um, but that's, again, that is just my casual way of doing it. Um, I always like to, I kind of want to put that out there, as I'm not, I'm not the be-all, end-all. And, you know, as much as I've played long enough, I just, I, there are still things about this game that I have yet to, uh, pursue, so to speak. So, um, you take, take my advice with a grain of salt, so, basically. Um, but, this week... This week, uh, I think over this past week, uh, was starting with the new year, though. I've gained, I'm pretty sure it's, I'm pretty sure it's been like, um, I'm pretty sure it's, I think it's like 1,500 gems. I can pull, we can kind of pull this up over on this other, 
another monitor for right now. Oh, actually, I don't want to do that because it'll it'll mess up the recording. So never mind. We'll we'll double check. I'll double check it all, and uh, if I don't uh, cover it today, I'll cover it uh, uh, in the video tomorrow. I'll just gonna make sure I get the the stuff down. It's all about learning how I want to go about um, doing this. I didn't jump. I definitely didn't start recording these videos with a plan. The only plan was to record the videos and put them up. Because <laughs> uh, again, it's just uh, trying to document what we are do what I'm doing a little bit, and and kind of again put content on my channel. That was that was really all I wanted to do. Another thing I noticed, you know, I talked about wanting to put a variety of Astromon up on the screen a little bit, but it's it's kind of hard not to keep the same ones I use just because they clear stuff a lot easier and, and not fun, like shuffling out gems or whatnot. But I realized uh, going through my storage, you know, how many of the, the light and the darks that I've collected that I haven't bothered leveling or, or for example, like uh, making them you know, five stars or six stars. And so that's another thing I'm going to start doing is, um, that's why I have my Sherlock out, uh, my, my, the light Sherlock, um, because I was like, well, if I'm out, you know, farming, farming extremes or whatnot, I might as well level her up. And so that's why we kind of have her out. I haven't put any gems on her just because when I'm out leveling, once again, they're whoever I level, and I only level one Astromon at a time. Um, just so that they get the full amount of experience. But I I specifically do that so they don't need any gems. They don't I don't put any trinkets on them either. Because at the end of the day, they're they're gonna get carried, so to speak. And if they, you know, they die, they still get the experience. Um, but you know, these three specifically are usually always in the team just because um God, I forget his name. The guy we just got last year, but uh, my leader leader ability um, is increase your critical chance by I think he's at 18%. So that's just guaranteeing my Fenrir, my Dark Mona to crit. Dark Mona with her special, you know, has increased uh, critical damage by 40 some odd percent. I think it's 40 flat. So that's why she's just barely beating out my Fenrir because Fenrir has increased critical uh, strike with all her abilities. So she guarantees crit. I have her it's like I think 100 and she has a 130% chance to crit, something ridiculous. So I'm just using him to, to raise my Mona up so that, you know, when she hits, it's a guaranteed crit as well. Um, and that's what helps clear the extremes uh, quickly. Uh, that's, that is definitely something you want to strive for. Um, the faster you can clear content, the faster you can get loot. The faster you can get loot, the faster you can get the things that you want. At least that's my philosophy behind that. Good or bad. <laughs> Uh, let's see. See, this is what I was running uh, as far as a clearing team. Uh, I was using... Oh, I'm going to... I just need to... This thing is Zephyr. Hold on. Did I get it? I got it. Zephros. Haha. Got there. So Zephros gives the critical bonus by, yeah, 18%. Um, and I was just, like I said, running around uh, leveling Sherlock here. Because I, I do want to have all, all my stuff eventually. You know, six star. It would be nice. But, again... You just have a casual playthrough. I think that's even what I list on my my friend's portrait on or on the on the game. It's just like I'm just taking my time to enjoy the game. Cause that is definitely definitely the the fun part about this game is it scratched, you know, at the time when I first picked it up, it scratched that Pokemon itch a little bit, right? You know, being able to catch this stuff. Learning the systems was a little daunting at first and like, man, you really want me to catch, you know, 16 of a copy and then you learn about gleams and you kind of then figure out, you know, how, how the, how the game, the game does give you a lot of opportunities to get stuff for free. So. That's why I said as much as I have my gripes with the game, it is still one of the best free-to-play games out there i mean and then again talking about recapping over the week of what we made you know i i still think i got like 1500 gems for free last week so i, I it just 
the game is just hands you out the gems now, which is great because they got rid of, you know, sliming to a point, but it, it's still like, I can't complain. There are other games out there that don't give you nearly as much stuff uh, as this one does. Um, and then begs you to pay a hundred dollars for, for almost nothing. I forget what mobile game I, I, I loaded it up. Um, I don't remember what it was. It was some, some anime, like, cool, like again, like a gotcha game, and it was just so ridiculous on the amount of monetization they had in that game. There were, there was, there was things from, hey, give us. Four ninety nine to well do a monthly pass for nine ninety nine to give us sixteen dollars for this to twenty five dollars for this all the way up and, and this continued like in increments all the way up to almost a hundred dollars and I'm like could you like calm it down a little bit and the game was 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 fun but it wasn't fun enough because they they hid they hid so many things behind the paywall that I'm like all right this is getting deleted I'm done with this. And it's just, I, I think uh, Jim Sterling said it best on YouTube, one of the YouTubers, um, when he talked about mobile gaming, that mobile ga gaming had an opportunity to be amazing. Um, and it just outright is, it sucks. And it's because they decided to overly monetize and shove it down our you know consumers' throats. And that kind of sucked, so... All uh, right, it does reset me back down to 600. That's weird. I used to always reset at 700. I wonder if that was a change they made and I just didn't read that. Because I always was at 700, so I would rarely get these low these, these low people like this guy. I feel sorry for you, dude. You, Your team is going to get wrecked, but you are level 16, so I don't feel sorry for you. It's a Bobby, and we, we're going to go punish the Bobby for putting up a defense team <laughs> that the game forces you to do. Yeah, I don't care who you attack. Go for it. And let's try to taunt. And we got it. Cool. Not like it matters, but. And a boop. So in the same way here too, like even with the rewards for um, in here, you know, I really should be striving to do this every week. Everybody, everybody out there should be trying to do this because these gleams are what's going to propel your account uh, and get your account, you know, getting your five stars to evolution three. So you can actually focus on them, getting them gems, um, looking at everything else in here. I've never really, you know, gone through here. Getting to 2,000 to get a guaranteed fire, water, or wood five star, you get one once a month. This isn't a bad thing to strive for, but getting 2,000 league points, I mean, that's all you're going to be doing is, is the league. And it's it's kind of, again, um, this holy gleam, good lord, farming 4,000 league medals. I mean, you'd have to, you, you, you'd either have to have a godly team or you just, you're literally just dump, that's what you're dumping your gems into, right? You're 200 gems getting that many tickets and you're climbing the ladder and good on you if you can do that. But, um, these, like I said, these are kind of all meh. You already get enough holy gleams. Uh, if you can do tower of chaos, you literally do your monthly, uh, and then you just log in. So you already get three gleams a month for free. As long as you can do um, one thing, which is the Tower of Chaos. I think even the Tower of Chaos is just a 50, though, right? Hold on. I really should be doing this stuff, too. Um, I just remembered that this this is something I might start weaving in because you get five light stones here if you make it to Tower 40. And then you get this light gleam. I don't know if these towers reset, though. That's my only thing is I'm afraid that I'm afraid to complete these because I don't know if you once you complete them it's like okay cool you're done and you just you can't climb it again and knowing how they did the hero dungeons for the five stars that's exactly what this is um, and it actually is energy you know what screw it if I've got light astromon we can send in here uh, crit 
damage. How about we just use Victoria? Throw you in, throw you in. Does Odin actually have gems on her? I don't remember. Yeah, I put health on her. Yeah, she's got 153,000 health. That's funny. Yeah, we'll throw Odin in there. We'll go a little bit longer today, just because I want to knock this out. I really should be putting, you know, Astromon in everything, but... Like I said, taking a break from certain things and changing up my daily routine is... It's kind of nice sometimes. Wow, I didn't get any SP on her? What's going on with that? I have SP gems on Yakasha, I think, don't I? Pretty sure that I do. That's really weird. I have to double check on that. Uh, let's just, I think next stage will give me the options. Yeah. What do you got? Yeah, you have SP gems on you. That was just really weird how... I know I know how S, like how the SP drain works, um, especially if you kill something, but she wasn't gaining as much. It's a little weird. Let's just focus fire. Yeah, she's not getting I wonder if it's also maybe it's a little bit lower because she's attacking a light. And maybe you get a bonus internally if you're actually attacking a light to a dark. Um, these Tower of Chaos is actually, you know, again, is is kind of interesting because, um, you know, I was excited when they released this. So now you've got something else to do. Um, however, the the only real issue with it is, again, you can only go do it five times, right? And then... It's it's interesting because it's like, well, if you go into the light, you don't use dark, right? You use the light monsters. So this is all neutral damage, which is great. Um, and so that's kind of cool about this. But at the same time, you're like, well, I can only go in there five times. It's all shuffled out. And if it's like the hero dungeon where, you know, at the end where uh, it, it, it doesn't reset or change, it's like, well, that's it's not going to be fun there. I'm just I'm just not about putting things in your games that are that are I, and I hate to say it meaningless because this is not necessarily meaningless it it's giving you rewards I mean we're getting super evolution stones easier once again the game is giving that to you as long as you can climb it but at the same point if it's a one and done thing that is just a waste because how many people already have all the hero dungeons completed right um, I guarantee you everyone and I should honestly have them all complete at this point I just haven't cared to go in there and do it because it's a one and done thing it's like well it's just gonna literally it's dead content to me right it's gonna sit there get done and because the developers don't want to take the time to to you know either sh you know remove the code and shuffle them out or add in the code to to have it on a rotation after somebody completes it i, I again i i know game development i don't know i'm not that you know, deep into coding, I do know this stuff takes a lot of work to, to add in here. Don't get me wrong, but at the same point, I'm like, if if you're just going to add something that's going to sit in the game and and just, you know, stew, so to speak, and just sit there and be not used after a while, it's, to me, that's just, there's no point in having that. And that's just, again, my opinion, but that's that's kind of where I sit with why waste all that time and effort if you're just going to forget about it eventually, you know? But we should... We should be good climbing this tower. I don't foresee... Even with the light Astromon that I have... I, can, I still have others that I can pull out of storage that would be a better fit for this team. Again, this was just kind of thrown through. I would, I would probably still keep my light Victoria for the the damage increase um i think i would change out uh 
Yakasha and definitely t change out Odin. Odin's, she's fine, but we don't need a tank in here. We need to just clear this stuff. We just need the manpower. We're not on a boss. So we need, we need, I do need some better light attackers. I will admit that because I'm very dark heavy as far as my monsters that can clear. Um, so that's, that's another account thing I need to go through and double check and kind of see a better make teams specifically for these tower climbs if they actually reset which would be amazing but um that can kind of go through them on each one um because specifically my i don't have i don't have a team for every you know type i don't i have a water team that one's easy i have a dark team that one's easy I probably have a light team I could make. I know a grass team would be a struggle, and a fire team might be a struggle for me, um, just because I, how I collect stuff. Wow, a light Draka? Well, uh-oh. Okay, we never mind, we win. And then Odin just heals, and we, we, we win. Wasn't expecting the light Draka to show up. That one, uh, that one caught me off guard. And take some of that. I forgot. Every five floors is probably going to be a boss, but it's whatever. So there's a little bit of a bonus today. A little bit longer. Longer just because we got the light and dark dungeons, I believe, that come out on, on the weekends. Uh, there we go. Weekly already got done. So, yeah. Um, I'll, uh, I'll do my, kind of my, my analytics a little bit and look at, uh, what we made. And uh, I'll cut the video off here and we will, uh, catch y'all tomorrow. I will, I will go over kind of, like I said, what we made over the weekend tomorrow's video. I think just adding it into the daily instead of making a separate video would be better. And, uh, y'all have a good Sunday and I will catch you tomorrow. See ya.